Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. My dad was a resistance fighter and he was a POW in World War II. He was going to be a dentist and when he went back there everything was destroyed, there was no schools, no nothing. So he worked to save money to come to the United States. He settled here in this area and he ended up meeting up with another brother eventually and they both started this place. When this COVID thing happened last year, we knew it was gonna impact all these businesses and we wanted, we wanted JVs to be here when we came back. The same thing that happened to me happened to everybody else at the beginning. We couldn't do anything. But meanwhile, we had to change everything we did in here because we never did a lot of carry out. Everything was always done by people coming in to hear uh, the music. I managed to stay open. I have an extremely wonderful staff. I think of it as a family. This is the best job I've ever had. A lot of people came in and bought gift cards, even if they didn't need food. Did things to keep us going when all we could do was, you know, serve food and, and say hi for five minutes as the people walked out the door. People ask me, like, what are you going to do? You know, if, if you can't do this. And I said, well, I'm going to stay here as long as I can and just go down with the ship. I guess about eight years ago, I came in here, wanted to start a band, sang a few songs, and um, Lorraine came out, introduced herself. And uh, we started talking. I said, well, how do I get my band in here? And she said, well, we're already booked all the way through next year. Your band hasn't made it until you've played here. So I can wait till next year to make it. She went and checked her schedule, asked if I would play a afternoon. So she gave me my, my, first, my first show. I left here thinking, well, now I guess I gotta go get a band. I ended up putting a band together. We had a, a, a show here and uh, we've been here every month since. And uh, that's eight years ago. Out of a whim, I created a GoFundMe. I'd never done that before. I had no idea what I was doing. I thought maybe we'd, maybe a thousand bucks, maybe 500 bucks. We ended up getting well over $23,000, which got, blew me away. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. And I love everybody that comes in here. They're family. They come in here, they're family. A distant cousin. <laughs>